Trello versus paid Trello. Trello project management software plan comparison. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have a very unique video for you guys. I am going to be comparing the pricing plan and different features of paid Trello and the free version of Trello. If you know Trello, Trello is one of the best project management software out there and a lot of people use Trello. So when we are using Trello, we know that there are different features that we cannot access in the free trial, but still we're getting our basic features. So we wonder that if it's okay to buy Trello, if it's worth it to buy the paid version of Trello. So today I will help you get rid of this confusion and make an informed decision that which one of these plans is better for you so without any further ado let's get into the video before i come to trello actually and show you around that what are the different features that i have on the paid version and the features i have on the free trial right so i will show you here but before that let's go to trello.com slash pricing because this is the best way to know that what is the pricing plan and what's the comparison so you can see right here we have a free plan which is zero dollars and it is free for your whole team so you don't have to pay for anything in this plan and then we have a standard plan which is going to be five dollars per user per month if built annually so if you're doing annually then you have to just pay like five dollars every month for each of the members that means if two members are using trello that means you will be paying ten dollars each month then we have a premium plan and it is six dollars if built annually so let's say that if you're paying each month then you have to pay 12 dollars for two members so you will be saving money if you go with a an annual plan then we have the premium plan so this is like the most famous plan and this is like our plan that we most of the time talk about when we're comparing a free plan to the pro version so this is going to be the premium and it is ten dollars per user per month if built annually and twelve point five zero dollars if built monthly so if you have two members or three members you will be paying thirty dollars per month uh, for your trello if you're built annually and then we have an enterprise so enterprise is really interesting what happens in the enterprise is that it, it starts from 17.5 euro dollars per user per month built annually and 210 dollars annual price per user so that's like an estimation but let's say that if you have more than 25 this is like for 25 users but if you have more than 25 like you have a big team like a very big team so your price actually decreases you can actually estimate so i think maybe you have 100 members in your team okay so i'm just gonna find the price for 100 so let's go with maybe 200 okay and because the price changes of 240 you're gonna get the same price it's going to be 1750 but if you have more than 250 members in your team let's say you have 500 members then it will decrease and of course as you move forward like if, if you have 5000 then it's going to be like seven dollars for each of the members but that's like a cubic team right but we're mostly like for us we're like maybe you know 50 users or 100 uh, but we can use Trello for big teams that also gives us an idea so this is like the basic the pricing that you have to pay now let's move on to the different features we have so in the free plan we get unlimited cards if you were wondering we can create up to 10 boards per workspace so with each workspace like this is one of my workspaces right you can see i have a lot of workspaces so my each workspace can have 10 boards that's actually pretty impressive then we have unlimited power-ups per board unlimited storage which is 10 mb per file 250 workspace command we have custom backgrounds and stickers are available assignee and due date option is available as well let's move on to our standard one and we are getting everything in the free one plus we have unlimited boards so now this one the limit that we had for the free plan like we could not create more than 10 boards but in this plan we will be able to create unlimited boards we get advanced checklist we have custom fields we were not getting custom fields in the free plan and the storage has been increased first it was just 10 mb now it's 250 mb and then of course commands have increased and single board guest as well 
then we have the premium and in premium we have everything in the standard and the free plan we're getting the views this is really important we're getting the dashboard view timeline view workspace view calendar view workspace calendar view map view so you can see if i take you to trello right here this is what you get when you sign up right so this is like a basic uh, workspace that i created now you can see if i go to the views right here and th this is the, one of the feature that really kind of like gets to you when you're using the free version and you're like okay why can't i get the views because these views are available in our premium plan which is ten dollars and the views are actually a lot of them we get a timeline view table view calendar view dashboard view and map view and all of these views are actually really impressive and what happens is with dashboard we get our own charts and visual views and we can create our pie charts with each of every task with table one we will be able to display cards in rows and columns then we have map and we can actually visualize card locations and an interactive map so this feature is not available in the free version but the views are available in the premium one then in the premium one we have collections observers priority support so we're not getting the priority support in the free version for example if i open up any of the cards um, let's open this one so if i go to edit and i open up this card you can see right here this is like the free version and there is no priority support i cannot set priority for my cards right here so for priority we will have to get the paid plan then we have the collection option right here so in the free version you're not getting the collection option but in the paid version we get the collection option what is collection you simply go to show menu right here in menu you will actually find more let's go to more and in here we have collections there you go so you can see collections you have to upgrade in order to get collections what is collections you can create collection based on teams topics projects or anything else with Trello premium so what happens is if i want to create a collection for a team right i want to organize my tasks more and like save a lot of time and kind of like arrange it into different collections i cannot do that in the free version that is available in the paid version then another feature we can see right here make a template so this is the part that i have created and let's say that this is a really good board that i have created and i want to use it as a template i want to create a template out of this board right here for other people to use so that i can share or maybe for myself but i cannot do that with the free version because this option is also available in the paid version uh, you can see right here we have to upgrade and then similarly in the enterprise well enterprise is for like very large teams so if you have a team which has like more than 100 users then you will be looking at this plan and let me tell you what you get so you will be getting unlimited workspaces organization wide permission organization visible boards multiple board guests attachment permissions power up administration free sso and users so this is for teams and it's giving you all of the basic features and tools that you look for in any of the project management software then similarly we also get this comparison right here and you can see we're getting unlimited cards in all of the plans that's good we're getting a built-in automation in all of the plans in the free one in the paid ones then we have assignee and due dates we're getting this option in all of the plans then we have desktop application it's available in all of these so you can see right here unlimited boards are not available in the free one but it's available in the rest of them the, when it comes to views views are available in the premium one and the enterprise then we have few of the features that are only available in the enterprise such as power up administration but with the free version we can create different boards and charts but we're not getting the views we will not be able to you know add a lot of power ups as well when it comes to power ups but we are getting the power up option in the free version we are getting the automation option in the free version but when it comes to like organizing more and getting more into trello then you will have to get the paid plan but now i hope that you have a better idea you know the difference between a free trello version and a paid version if i were a big help don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel